Now, is that the same thing? Well, here, let, let's work. You know, in fact, I think I'll just get it straight from the textbook. I'll just, I'll just copy this out. Okay, so um, we're trying to sh you know, show that this equals this. Okay. Now, I've, I've shortened things a little. I've, le I've left off the n, the modulus n, but, you know, sh shorthand, okay? Uh, now, we have this in general, right? That was proved in uh, previous lecture. Okay, so that's, we, we have to prove that that's that. So let's, let's work with this. So uh, we can rewrite that as how? Um, now, we just, just use this general rule. Okay, so we can rewrite this as b plus c, okay, and uh, this we can write. Well, yeah, this this just becomes uh, a plus b plus c. Okay, so you just you just add that to that. This is a block, right? So you get that. Now look. Uh, now we're talking, these, these are just integers, right? Now integers are associative, so we can rearrange this a little bit, this way, a plus b plus c, okay? These, these are just integers, and integers are associative, so we can rewrite that as that, and now we can split this up, going backwards, we can go from that to that, right? So let's do that. So this is now the same as a plus b plus c. Right? We're, we're just going the other way. We're going from right to left now. So we get that. Uh, now we can split this up. Okay. So that is a plus b this way plus c. And that's what we wanted to prove, because this is that. Okay, so it's associative. This uh, this candidate for a group is associative. Now, what's the unit? Uh, the unit is just this one. Does that make sense? Is that sort of intuitively obvious? Because uh, it's, it, it, it's the uh, yeah. Every group has one and only one uh, unit element, and uh, this this group or this set has n of these elements, and each element is a residue class. Okay, so why why is why is it obvious? Should be obvious that this is the unit. Well, uh, zero plus a is zero plus a which is just A. Okay. So that, that, that's your unit. And you could go the other way, of course. So uh, A plus naught is A plus naught, which is just A. Okay? So that one is the unit. And it should be failure. Okay, so we have a unit. Now the inverse... Uh, Okay, now we want we want something of this form. Now uh, I'm throwing this at you a little, but uh, if we if we choose uh, this this number in here, so that. Uh, now, it, it has to be one of these positive numbers, right? It has to be in that range between naught and n minus 1. So let's, let's choose this. Uh, it's to be n minus a. Okay? Uh, and a, a will be less than n. Uh, yeah. Um, so, it, wait a minute. Yeah, it, it, no, it, it, it can range between uh, 1 like here, right, and n. So a 
a can range between one and one and n. So this could be zero. Well, it ranges between zero and n. In minus one. <laughs> well, uh, I choose I choose it to be this way. Now watch what happens. So I add the two, and I'll just get n. Okay. Because the a's the a's cancel. Whatever 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 your element is here, just have it minus here and add n to it. So the a's cancel, you, know, you, you get that plus that, so the a's cancel and you're left with an n. But that is the same as this, right? Because what is this? This is the residue class of n. But n, n is the modulus. So this and this are the same. But that is the unit, okay? Now I could put this on that side and you'll get the unit. So this, this is the inverse of that. And it's quite general, so, okay, so, uh, so we've proved that uh, this is a group. All right. Uh, how about, now this time, now again, we're using uh, uh, residue classes. Here, uh, the modulus is uh, five. Here, so this is a particular case of this, but n is now five. Okay, here, and we're taking the star, so we're throwing out this one. Okay, and why do we do that? Because um, Here, the binary operator is multiply, okay? And if you have if you have the zero in there, uh, when you're multiplying, it creates all kinds of problems. So, so throw it out, throw throw out throw out this one. And so, uh, because your n is five, normally you'd have five residue classes, but we're throwing this one out. So so we, we have four elements uh, in uh, in the set. Here, here they are, the, the four um, residue classes. And this time the binary operation is not plus, it's multiply. Okay, now uh, there's a theorem, we did that also, well, sort of, yesterday. Uh, you, you, you can... So, so residue classes behave a bit like integers, right? So, uh, you've, got, you've got this kind of phenomenon. So uh, now remember, uh, you know, each of these is still a, res a, a residue class. So uh, e each of these numbers is uh, what results from when you uh, take a minus b and divide by n and get the result. Okay, that's that's what these numbers are. All right. So uh, here's your set. So residue class one, two, three, four. Uh, now I've not written I've not written the five here. Yeah. Now it's uh, Z, Z five star. So you've thrown out thrown out this one. All right. So uh, so apply this rule here. And if if ever your A B goes over is becomes larger than equal or larger than n, then subtract n. Subtract n from from this a b. You know, similar to what you did here. Okay. All right. Well, let's, let's just do a few. So one one one. So that's one. So that's obvious. One two. So you know, you're multiplying this one by all these. So that that should just be the same as that. Okay. Now about two. So two times one will give you two. Two two is a four. Okay. Two three is a six. Now that's over over five. That's over n. So subtract n. So six minus five will give you one. Okay, so that's a one. Uh, two four is eight minus five. That's three, and so, and so on. Okay. Now uh, let's see. Uh, now we're talking multiply. So what's the unit? The unit will be that one. Is that is that obvious? Yeah. Uh, I hope I don't need to spell it out too much. Also, <laughs> time factor. Uh, so the unit is that. Uh, 
Now, uh, associative, it's very similar, very similar to this, but you'll have a, a times here instead of a plus, but the, the logic will be the same. So, uh, associativity, so it's associative. We've done the unit. Now, is it closed? Well, yeah, you can just see, look. Um, and if you fill in the table, all of these, uh, each one of them is just one result at each place. And each of them belongs to this set, you know, one, two, three, four. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's um, closed. Okay, so I've done three of them now. Now the inverse, uh, the inverse, what's the inverse? Well, you'll do, you'll do something similar to, blah, 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 wait a minute. Uh, yeah, that's so subtle. How, how to get the inverse when you multiply. Now I've got, to, I've got to get a 1 in there somehow. So in general, we're ticking real time here. So I've, I've got to get something that's a 1. I need, I need to do a little bit of revision.